Good morning po. Tanong ko lang kung meron endo ang isang company guard. Tapos wala pang 13th month pay ngayon. December. Thanks po. Alright. Ito yung tanong ni sir regarding endo or end of contract and about 13th month pay. Sige po, I will answer your question sir in a direct, concise and with example. So, very short video lang ito and direct to the point. All right, let's get started. Unang-una, may tatlong klase ang security guards. Number one, private security guards. Ito yung mga guards na hawak ng mga agency like Minsas, Dasya, Fireball, etc. Number two, company security guards. Ito ay direktibang guards ng company or private company. Isa ka doon, sir. Right? Company guard tayo. I believe itong mga guard na ito is uh, civilian guard na wala silang uh, uniform. Uh, tama ba? Number three, government security guards. Sila ang mga government employee slash guard na mga government offices. So, ito yung mga guard na directly hired uh, by the government agency. no? So, hindi sila under ng security agency. Concerning ENDO, ano ba ang policy? Answer, Policies, according to certain laws under the Philippine Employment Protection Laws, employers must offer permanent employment after six months of engagement, otherwise or otherwise lay them off. So, after six months po, kung patuloy pa rin ang pagtatrabaho ng guard, considered na po siya na regular employee. That's according sa batas ng Philippine Employment Protection Laws. So, be mindful of that, employers. At the same time, may mga guard concern. LCP or Labor Code of the Philippines, Articles 279, 280, 281, 286, and 287. This is commonly called regularization law. In addition, in case the company is unable to regularize them, they may hire temporary workers via principals or service contractors. So simply said, kung hindi ma-regular, kasi po hindi umabot ng six months, gilay of the po nila, the employer or company may hire temporary workers. Dole rules for 13th month pay. Number one, it must be given to all rank and file employees in the private sector, regardless of their position, job title, or employment status as long as they have worked for at least one month during the year. Number two, this benefit also extends to employees who are paid based on a piece rate system, a fixed salary, or a guaranteed wage plus commission. Those with multiple employers, those who have resigned or terminated, even yung mga on maternity leave. So, meron talagang 13th month pay, no? according sa Department of Labor and Employment Rules. Okay, very clear po. So, with the regular employee, casual employee, contractual employee, nag-guard po tayo, makareceive po tayo ng 13th month pay, sir. Alright? So, hope na nasagot ko yung question po ninyo, sir. Please like, share this video, and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you, God bless, and two thumbs up.